Nice little country looking type deal coming to you at 139.9. This thing is vacant and it is every bit of turnkey, man. This thing is looking pretty good on the inside, right? The particular owner that owns this, he put this thing all back together, ready to rock and roll, looking pretty good, ready to bring you guys $12.95 a month in rent. Ah! The rain of cash flow. Oh, the rain of cash flow is not dry, y'all, because this thing, as I said, $12.95 a month. If Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show, folks. This thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't want to be giving it to you straight. All right, Youngstown investors, we got something just outside of town over there in Canfield, Ohio, y'all. 5860 Kirk Road. Nice little country looking type deal coming to you at 139.9. This thing is vacant and it is every bit of turnkey, man. This thing is looking pretty good on the inside, right? The particular owner that owns this, he put this thing all back together, ready to rock and roll, looking pretty good, ready to bring you guys $12.95 a month in rent. Ah, sorry. Oh, you guys are still there, huh? Oh, I guess, I guess Tom, I guess Tom didn't edit this out like I told him to. My bad, y'all. So anyway, I was, I was a little, I was a little parched. <clears throat> Hold on, I was a little parched. I get, I get thirsty. My mouth, it's dry. <clears throat> it's so dry. But you know it's not dry, y'all. I was going to try to say something like, you know, it's not dry, like, the river of money coming or something, but I don't know. It didn't work. Anyway, moral of the story. The rain of cash flow. Oh, the rain of cash flow is not dry, y'all, because this thing, as I said, twelve ninety five a month. If I was not one take Jimmy, what we would have did is what a lot of other people on the YouTube do. We would have cut that out, that whole, like, three minutes of nonsense that you've been subjected to right now. But I, I we don't do that here. One take. We do one take, one take alone, okay? So it's all going to be in there, folks. It's all going to be in there, just like those beautiful brand new decorations and accoutrements in this particular property because it is rent ready folks and in all seriousness though 1295 is what this thing is going to bring in okay you really don't need to do much of anything kind of go in swap those locks out and get yourself a cash or section 8 paying tenant right here's the cool thing too right you're in canfield which is right down the street from youngstown there is a massive massive shortage of section 8 housing right and that is great for people like me for people like you right what that means folks there's a short Shortage, okay, we got like this many motherfuckers trying to rent Section 8 houses, but we only got like this many Section 8 houses. You see that? So that allows investors like you to have your pick of the tenants, right? Like anytime you throw a property on the market for Section 8 in this general area, dude, you're going to get like 50, 60 applicants, okay? So you do your, your business the right way, you play your cards right, what that's going to mean for you is you're always going to max out at an incredibly high rent rate, right? Twelve ninety five, for instance, number one. Number two, what that's going to do for you as well is allow you to pick the very best tenant, right? It's no secret that Section 8 tenants, they run hard, dude. They run your properties hard. They beat up your properties, okay? Folks on Section 8 are not, like, historically the most, uh, you know, uh, responsible people out there, right? Irresponsible people typically fuck up your house, okay? That's just how it is, right? And some people get mad when I say things that like, oh my God, how could you say that? You say your tenants on Section 8 aren't responsible. That's offensive. That's a sweeping generalization. I understand that's a sweeping generalization, folks, but sweeping generalizations in certain scenarios are just fucking facts, right? Like, a sweeping generalization saying people that cannot afford to pay their own bills without government intervention, saying those people are not usually responsible. I mean, that's, that's just clearly a fact. It's also like making a generalization that water is typically wet or that fat people typically eat 
a lot of fucking calories, okay? And fat people out there don't even think about getting offended because I'm fucking fat. So if a fat guy says it, it's not offensive, y'all. All right? And that's just that's just the breaks, man. That's the, that's, that's the breaks, kid. That's how it is, okay? So, yes, do you have uh, a little bit more of a chance of getting irresponsible tenants that are going to fuck your house up when you go with Section 8? Yeah, you do. But when you're in a market where there is a massive shortage of Section 8 housing, you get literally like 50 people that you can wean through that all want your house, right? So you're going to be able to pick and choose, right? So you can literally find one. All you got to do is find one rock star in a freaking gaggle, a herd of 50 people, man. That shouldn't be that difficult, right? And... Additionally, because there's so many people looking for housing like this, guys, what else that's going to do for you, right? You're maxing out your rent, twelve ninety five. You're getting the best tenant because you have so many people fighting over this particular property. And then the last thing, vacancy. Your vacancy is going to be next to nil, right? A, finding a tenant shouldn't take you that long because you've got so many people looking for it. And then your tenants are probably not moving in and out like cash paying tenants, right? I've talked to a lot of investors. I've sold over $200 million worth of properties, managed thousands of tenants. And I can tell you, based on my experiences and the experiences of the other investors I've talked to throughout the nation, your Section 8 tenancies, y'all, are typically going to run you like twice the length of cash paying tenancies. Sure. Like, there's obviously exceptions to the rule all the time. It's just like fat motherfuckers, right? Every once in a while, you find one of those fat motherfuckers who's like, no, oh, man, all I eat is a salad, man. I got a pituitary gland problem, right? Like, if you found a thousand fat sons of bitches, right? I bet you, you know, 999 of them are like me. They're like, dude, I like beer and fucking hot wings. But there's that one son bitch who's like, yeah, dude, I like lettuce. I just got a pituitary problem, right? So, you know, same kind of scenario here, right? In general, we're going to get a lot longer tenancy out of our Section 8 tenants than we will the cash peg tenants. Does that mean every Section 8 tenant's going to go down that way? No, of course not. But these are just things that I have noticed in my long, illustrious career of uh, doing investments, running rental properties, running a property management company, helping investors from all over the world, right? So that, folks, is what we got going on here, right? I like to give you guys the ins and the outs, right? Let you know the whole story in, around, and behind what you're buying, why you're buying it, and how much money it can or cannot make you, right? So if all that makes sense to you and you're ready to rock and roll on this particular property, go ahead and send your offers to my team, sales at holtonwise.com. If they're cash, just send us the email, man. Hey, dude, I like Kirk. I'm down. I want to pay one thirty nine nine cash. Here's my proof of funds. Or hey, dude, same thing that you just said, except for I want to finance it. So here's my pre approval for my lender. Or hey, man, I really want to buy it, but like I don't got no money, bro. Do you got any money for me? You damn right I do. Okay, I actually happen to have a very large Rolodex uh, of investor lenders who make their money loaning investors like you uh, from all over the world uh, money to buy properties like this or various other markets, right? Like Cleveland, Columbus, Cincinnati, Dayton, Detroit, Indianapolis, Kansas City, Baltimore. Shout out to The Wire, right? The Wire, god damn, that's a good show. What's his face died, the actor. That was sad. Anyway, if you guys need my lenders, you could also shoot me an email, sales at holtonwise.com. I'll get you my whole list of lenders. Then you can get that pre-approval letter and submit that offer to me. And last but not least, if you do want to tour the property uh, before you actually get to that process, that's totally cool too, man. Shoot us an email. Let us know you want to tour it. You hit us up before 5 o'clock. We'll get you in there same day. If you hit us up after 5 o'clock, uh, we'll get you in there very next day. Let's go. All right, I put up my hoodie. It's fucking freezing out here. Oh, goddamn winter. It's a great rental. There's nothing wrong. Needs a roof though. I don't know if you can tell from the video.
can't tell. Spindles missing. That looks pretty good though. Oh, maybe not. Backyard. Another one. Oh shoot. side and then these guys you know, they should be able to do a lot more with it whoops sorry guys the, uh... oh you're good yeah. so that's why I stay behind them too Upstairs, I'll do that back room and the yeah. other stuff last. Oh, it's just a great big room. Oh, there's some offshoots to it. Oh, geez. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.